It has been a rough couple of years for the Jersey City Police Department, which has suffered a number of very public black eyes. You remember this incident where city police were taped kicking a man who was on fire. Turns out he was an innocent victim. The most recent blemish on the department is the arrest of 11 officers, most from here in the North District, for corrupting the city's off-duty jobs program. Even the former police chief pleaded guilty in the case, retiring with a city pension just months before pleading. Today, the mayor said the city has alerted the FBI that it is ending the jobs program. The first phase will end the off-duty program for jobs involving private citizens, trucks, delivery records, licensed premises, and the Jersey City Housing Authority. All other off-duty assignments, specifically those involving large construction sites and work by utilities impacting vehicular traffic, will be ended within six months to one year. We're going to target six months on that. As for what's going to replace the existing system, the mayor and the public safety director say right now they're not entirely sure. We're making a commitment to have those answers within six months to a year. Uh, so, quite frankly, some of it can be replaced with nothing. The mayor said other options include hiring local residents to replace cops on low-impact projects and working out arrangements with utility providers. Phillips says the most important thing is to focus cops on cop work, not off-duty overtime gigs that had some officers doubling and tripling their salaries. There are issues clearly with regards to priority on this, so we think we're making the responsible decision on that. Nobody wants corruption, not the police officers, obviously not the mayor. So there are ways to solve these problems. Ending it is, to me, is you're taking 100 to 150 police officers off the streets at uh, no cost to the taxpayers. You know, I can't even quantify how much crime is deterred by having 150 more officers on the street. The accumulation of bad news, the off-duty overtime scandal just the latest, have some questioning whether the city's public safety director, who was just reappointed unanimously by the city council, deserved that vote of confidence. Each of those instances, uh, we've acted aggressively on. Most of the investigations that have happened have been a byproduct of us being proactive on that front. There's a few bad apples kind of spoiled the bunch here and uh, um, and we don't want to, to leave you know the men and women particularly all the new hires that we brought in um, feeling like uh, that uh, maybe they made the wrong choice in their careers and uh, we want to make sure and validate the fact that the, their service is welcomed here in Jersey City. The mayor says reform is always messy and admits that residents should expect more bad news and possibly more indictments to come from this scandal before it's all done with. In Jersey City I'm David Cruz and JTV News.